I bought this flexible solar panel for my solar powered kayak and uh, the flexible panels are not as good or durable as the glass one but I bought it for the light weight um, and I was hoping to get more power out of it. Out of it. It's labeled as a uh, 120 watt panel but I've never gotten anything close to that. I've gotten most, uh, most 60 or 75 watts out of it. So. I'd like to test a uh, MPPT charge controller uh, versus the uh, pulse width monitoring PWM controller. So we got a nice sunny day here. It's about noon, um, but the panel is uh, vertical, so it's not facing directly towards the sun. But uh, you can see it is a nice sunny day. There's a few high clouds. Uh, which might cause some uh, little wispy clouds and jet streams might cause some variation in the uh, uh, sunlight, but uh, be a good test here. Okay, so this is just inside the garage, and you see I've got the Victron uh, Blue Solar. MPPT charge controller connected um, and I'm measuring the solar panel input here which as you can see is um, 2 point, about 2.2 .2 amps 16 volts um, and 35 watts as the, on the input um, and then the output over here uh, which is connected to the battery as the battery voltage is 13.17 volts at 2.55 amps. Now that's interesting in that we have a higher number of amps coming out of the MPPT controller and that's because what it does is the, on the input side it runs the panels at their maximum power point which in this case is about 16 volts and uh, it can draw 2.6 amps and power is voltage times amps so uh, if we go here we write down 2.2 um, amps and 15.5 volts and 35 watts on the input we get and on the output we have uh, 2.5 amps 13.16 volts and looks like 33 watts so this is the Victron um, MPPT. Now the advantage of this is that um, it runs the panels at a at the maximum power point voltage, which is higher than the battery voltage. Um, and then inside it, inside the charge controller, it it has a DC to DC inverter, which will convert that higher voltage and higher and amperage to a the battery voltage at a higher amperage so you get the maximum power out of the system now i substituted in this uh, PWM charge controller which is just uh, one of the cheap ones you can buy for about 10 bucks or less um, and um, the, uh, it's, it's basically a PWM and what we look at here now is we have um, the current is 2.29 amps and the voltage is 13.23 volts and it's giving us 31, about 31 watts on the input and the output uh, is the at the battery side is 13.13 volts, 2.32 amps. So uh, the voltage is a little less and the current is a little less, 
and the power uh, is about 30 watts. Uh, so you can see that the um, what the PWM is a very, very simple inverter, and what it does is it just when the battery needs to be charged, it just connects the um, the input uh, directly to the battery. So the input we have uh, two point here's two point four amps now thirteen uh, point two volts and thirty one watts, and then on the outside on the output. Um, you have 2.34 amps, a little less, and 13.13 uh, volts, a uh, little less, and 30.5 uh, watts. Um, so you can see you get less power um, uh, by about 10% in this case. Um, out of the, um, the re re you, know, you get you get less power in this case about 10 watts out of the um, about 10 percent out of the uh, PWM uh, controller. I'm also try I'm also trying out this EP ever. Uh, MPPT solar charge controller. This can, can handle a lot uh, higher uh, wattage uh, in panels, um, so that uh, and it has a it's a much larger unit and it has a massive heat sink on the back. Um, but we can see here how it's performing. Um, if you look at the uh, input uh, we have here. Um, uh, at the uh, EP ever, uh, we have again our 2.2, 2.2 uh, about 2.25 amps, 15.7 uh, volts, and 35 watts. And you can see that's pretty much the same as the Victron does. Um, and then on the output, um, it matches the, uh, the voltage of the battery, which uh, now is 13.15 volts um, and uh, 2.59 amps and 33, um, uh, 34 watts. So uh, you can see that uh, the performance of this um, as a uh, MPPT charger is pretty much the same as the Victron, um, possibly a little better, but you know, the sun might have uh, changed a bit since then. So. Um, uh, you can see the, the advantages of having a uh, MPPT controller is you get more power out of the, um, out of the system. So uh, we're 10 to 15 percent more uh, in, in, this, in this case. In searching for uh, MPPT charge controllers, uh, I came across this charge controller in a uh, dark alleyway on eBay, which uh, was only $13. And uh, it's advertised as an MPPT solar charge controller. Um, but at $13, I'm not sure that uh, it's, it's, uh, it could be a MPPT controller, but I decided to uh, buy it anyway because I was curious about uh, what was going on here. So I'm going to compare this to the, um, the Victron here. Uh, the Victron we have um, uh, today uh, pretty much the same uh, input and output as yesterday, which is 2.23 
uh, 2.2 amps at 15 and a half volts or so and 34 and a half watts in and um, that gives us and then the um, the voltage is the battery voltage now is 13.18 volts uh, 2.5 amps and 30 about 33 watts uh, on the input so let's switch over to the um, our new improved eBay MPPT control. Okay, so I put this uh, uh, what now appears to be a fake MPPT solar charge control into the circuit, and you can see here that uh, the input is uh, 2.34 amps, and but the battery voltage has dropped down to 13.4. Uh, when 31 watts on the input um, and on the output we have 13.15 uh, volts 2.27 amps and uh, about 30 watts so uh, this is not an MPPT solar controller because uh, basically what it's doing is uh, acting like a PWN controller which is pulling the input voltage down to the battery voltage and just passing the uh, passing the current through and we have essentially the same current um, coming in as going out and the same uh, wattage minus uh, 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 a little bit of loss in the, in the controller so so we'll call this a um, uh, fake MPPT and so input um, is 2.33 amps uh, 13.3 volts and 31 watts and the output is 2.27 uh, amps, 13.16 uh, volts, and 29.9 watts. So uh, you can see there is uh, no PowerPoint. There is no PowerPoint tracking on this. The, uh, the voltage uh, is basically the, um, the solar panel is basically connected directly to the battery uh, with a little bit of uh, voltage loss as it goes through the, um, through the controller. Um, but there's no attempt to um, get, the, um, get the voltage up to the end maximum power point. Uh, so basically this is a uh, fraudulent uh, MPPT solar controller, um, uh, which is it's just sad that uh, uh, people don't have the integrity to uh, to do that. Uh, so I opened up the fake MPPT solar controller just to see what was inside to see if it had any chance of being uh, having a DC to DC inverter inside and I see that it does not. Here's the uh, display, the, uh, the two USB ports. Interestingly they also have two uh, RCA jacks, 5 millimeter RCA jacks, uh, not RCA jacks, but uh, 5 millimeter jacks which are probably um, 12 volt output so that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, and on the back um, we have uh, uh, some power transistors which are thermally connected to the um, to metal back plate uh, but no sign of a uh, DC to DC inverter um, so definitely a fraud